There are so many degrees that somebody could get. And some of them are completely different, like professional degrees, like an MBA or a Master's of Public Health, or even an MFA, in comparison to more research-focused degrees, like an MA or a PhD. And all of these degrees are very unique and serve completely different purposes. So today we are talking about the differences between professional and research graduate degrees. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything grad life, grad advice, and research. And in today's video, we are discussing the biggest differences between professional and research graduate degrees. And the first major difference is just the purpose of each degree. A professional degree is really a degree that is helping you build the skills and the knowledge to work towards a specific job or profession. While a research degree is more developing you to be an academic, which means the skills that you are going to build are going to be much more focused on critical thinking, writing, and analysis. So generally, most people pursuing a professional degree already have a clear idea of what job they want to get or what type of career path they want to follow after they graduate. And while those thoughts definitely may linger in the minds of a student in a research degree, the most important thing generally for the program and how it functions is preparing you to pursue or to do more research or to answer questions that are going to help the academic field rather than the professional field. The next major difference is going to have to be funding. While I don't know the nitty gritty details as to why it's so much different, when you are pursuing a graduate degree, a research degree program is almost always so much easier to fund than a professional degree. And in fact, unless you're a part of a special community, organization, or like identity group, it can feel like it's almost impossible to get grants and funding for a professional degree like a master's of business administration or like, you know, a master's of public administration or public health. Now, it doesn't actually mean that it is impossible because there are always, always, always grants out there. And I have an entire playlist that talks about grad funding that can help you fund your professional degree but I do think it's important to dis to describe this distinction that a research degree has way more funding opportunities funding programs fellowships and grant opportunities than a professional degree the next biggest difference would have to be what are the requirements for each degree and specifically focusing on kind of like the culminating or final project for each degree program while in a research degree program most of the time, if not 100% of the time, you will be expected to complete a final research project. Now this could take the form of a master's thesis or a dissertation or some type of longer written document, but generally your job as a student is to develop this research project. In a professional degree, the culminating project can look a variety of different ways. And oftentimes you may even have options of what your final project could look like. So while you could in theory write a research document, you could also work with things like a capstone project where you develop your own case studies or do hands-on kind of in the field work. You may have a final project that is an exhibition or an art object or an art project if you're doing something like an MFA. Or you might have to do something like an internship write-up or reflection. But these types of projects really depend on the professional degree and they're not as standardized as it would be in the research degree program. And this also means that in some cases there may not even be a final culminating project, but instead the steps that you take to receive the degree or the courses that you take to receive the degree will give you enough of the job training and expectation and knowledge to be able to enter into the field. However, regardless of what program you choose to be in, they all most likely likely will have a period where you have to take coursework and where you have to do some type of independent work to hone your specialties or your skills. This is also to say because the expectations and the final projects are going to be different, the skills that you are working towards are going to be completely different between the two degrees. Now I alluded to this a little bit earlier in the video, but again, what a research program is developing you to do is to be a scholar, to ask hard questions, to write difficult answers and to think critically about other scholarship. So really you're being trained to be an academic regardless if that's what your career path is or isn't. Well a professional degree again because it's preparing you to do an actual job 
in a field, it's going to focus more on giving you hands-on experiences. And so this may be integrated into your program design where you are expected to have an internship or you may be able to shadow a professional in your field or you may have an opportunity to get mentor experience. I know at UCLA in our MBA program, they have a specific organization or programs that are an extension of their academic curriculum that gives them real life lobbying and real life kind of marketing experience for companies around the world. So that I think is definitely a perk or something that is just really cool about a professional degree that research degrees just are not going to do. You are not going to get that hands-on professional development experience in a research degree because the focus again, or the profession really is the research itself. And that may change how you feel in that, in that program or the type of confidence you have once you graduate to pursue a job that has very specific technical skills. Now, while the career trajectory may be completely different or like the focus of the career trajectory may be different between the degree programs, I do think it's important to say more times than not, a research degree usually can often get hired in the same types of jobs or similar jobs as a professional degree student. And that's because even though they are engaging in research and not developing the hands-on skills, they are still really familiar with the expectation, the needs, and the state of the field. And so they are seen as a valuable asset to companies. However, a professional degree student, unless it is a terminal degree, like an MBA or an MFA, they cannot teach at a research one university. Depending on where you're at and the focus of your community colleges or the junior colleges in your area, if you have a master's degree, that is enough to be able to teach at a community college or a junior college, but that doesn't transfer into a research university like UCLA. Now, I'm explaining these differences not to influence you or to make you feel like one is better than the other, but really to demonstrate how the focus of each program is different. But if you find yourself at this point of the video and you're still not sure what is most important to you, I would check out my past video where I talk about the most important considerations when choosing a graduate program. And if you found this video useful, definitely hit thumbs up so others know that this video has good quality content. Your likes and comments help a small YouTuber like me continue to grow. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.